head downtown um, and film more of the setup for Comic-Con. So, you guys are, look, I'm going to get the sneak peek. Sneak peek, if I can talk properly. God, I'm tired. Um, of, you know, what's going on down there. Um, so, yeah, should be fun. I'm going to have a great week. I uh, hope you guys will, too. So we got another booth setting up here for Comic Con. Conan Con trolley. So as you guys can see, Walking Dead here opens up on Thursday. So if you guys want to check out some stuff on the outside of the uh, convention center and you got your Comic Con credentials, then definitely stop by Walking Dead. Should be really fun. So uh, name and title. Raina Kay, Director of Public Relations, Hard Rock Hotel San Diego. And what's going on this year for Comic-Con San Diego? Well, as usual, we are kind of one of the hot spots outside of the convention. We have a lot of very exclusive private events happening. Thursday, you've got the fandom party up at Float. They're having a big performance by Big Boy. Uh, Saturday, at the close of the convention, of course, Entertainment Weekly is having their big bash, the biggest celebrity bash of Comic-Con. That's taking over Float. Um, We've got Skydance, which is this fun interactive company. They're taking over and decking out Mary Jane's. You'll see some virtual reality and some cool video games. It's a great experience. Come have lunch, have a drink, and do some great people watching. Awesome, and uh, Club 207, is there anything special going on over there? Well, 207 is essentially gonna be closed to the public this year, but there is a great activation by Kingsman. So I don't know, I mean, if you hang out you know, around the hotel, there might be some sightings of some of the cast members. Is there any chance for someone, or do you know if they're doing like, they said they're private events, but do you know if they're doing like ticket vouchers for fans to get in this year? Do you know of anything like that? I haven't seen or heard of anything, any vouchers for fans to get into some of the parties. A lot of them are pretty exclusive, but if you have any Hollywood connections, it's time to break out your Rolodex. All right, good to know. So break out the Hollywood connections if you got them for Comic-Con. All right, well, thank you, Raina, so much for the interview, and uh, have a good Comic-Con. So as you can see, they're still setting up the booth here. And if we turn around here, you got the, tro the trolley, which is now Orville themed, which is gonna be a new TV show, I guess, kind of like Star Trek. Uh, it's like a parody of Star Trek almost. So you got Bobby from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. there. You got obviously Seth Green. You got a bunch of other uh, well-known actors. Here, so behind me we got the uh, Midnight Texas booth. Uh, that's going to be one of the outdoor activities you can do here at Comic-Con this year. So they're pretty much set up. Um, again, most of these are opening on Thursday. So uh, yeah, it should, uh, should be pretty interesting to see. We're trying to get a walkthrough, trying to schedule that in advance to give you guys a sneak peek of what's going on here at Comic-Con. Anyways guys, uh, to the next booth. All right, I'm here with uh, David Glancer, who's the PR spokesperson for the San Diego Comic-Con. And uh, take me through 2017. What's going on this year? Well, you know what? It's going to be a great year. We have our fingers crossed uh, for a fun time. Uh, it always is, but it's a lot of, uh, you know, planning to, to make it all happen. But this year, there's some really cool stuff going on. We have a lot of representatives from different countries. Uh, we have some booths from Chile, from South Africa, New Zealand, Russia, China. Uh, this year we also have a pinball lounge over at the Marriott Hotel, which will be a lot of fun. And it's going to feature uh, new Star Wars pinballs. And then uh, we also have a, a tech uh, room over, I think it's called the Tech Lounge, uh, over at the uh, Omni Hotel. And they're going to feature uh, different VR, virtual reality type stuff. So there's a lot of stuff, fun stuff going on. Are there going to be any premieres? Like last year, you know, there was Star Trek Beyond, which I was actually really thankful to get a pass to. <laughs> but is there going to be anything like that this year? I don't think there's anything off-site that big, nothing that's in, in association with us. But Comic-Con always has some pretty good surprises, so I think the show should be a lot of fun. And take me through, how, how many people are you expecting this year? Well, you know, we've had to cap our attendance, so we really expect probably in excess of 135,000 people. We really won't know until probably a couple weeks after when we tally that all up because we don't count uh, badges printed or sold. We really count how many badges are picked up. 
but I'm sure it'll be over 135,000. And how much revenue does Comic Con bring into the city of San Diego? Well, we've never done an economic impact study, but the city has. And my understanding is it's about 135, 140 million dollars over the course of, of the week. So definitely, if and then if the convention center expands, how many more people do you expect you can bring in? We really don't know because uh, it will depend upon how the con floor is configured. So as an example, if you had one booth and open space, you could probably get a lot more people in than if you had a, a, an entire space filled with booths. So it really depends upon the configuration, but hopefully we'd be able to increase the number by at least some. And to be clear, it has to be contiguous expansion, correct? For us, we would prefer contiguous. And the reason being, it would be like having a a really cool house and they're all this is the greatest house in the world but the kitchen is like you know down the street that really doesn't work for us because our exhibitors want all to be together one year we tried putting some exhibitors upstairs in the sales pavilion and uh, it was not very well received and then uh, how m you said with the exhibitors upstairs what was the what was the backlash from that well I think people really wanted to be on the floor so that uh, they didn't have to leave to go to another area and uh, I think if you have non-contiguous, you have the same thing. Is it a better space to be in the new space? Is it better to be in the old space? Are people going to visit the bigger space and then just not even check out the smaller space? I mean, there are too many variables, and, and a lot of these people are retailers, and they want to make sure they can get you know the eyes of the audience, so you don't want to split them up. And then big celebrity appearances. What are, what are we expecting this year? I think there'll be some fun surprises. I can't tell you what they are. But uh, I think it's going to be a really nice year this year. I'm looking forward to it. Cool. And then, yeah, you get to work the event, so I bet you're <laughs> exhausted by the end of it. <laughs> I am exhausted. And to be honest with you, a lot of times I'll learn about the event from watching you know, podcasts and bloggers and photos because it just it, it ends up being a blur. Well, it's a great event. I'm, I'm hoping that you guys can stay in San Diego forever because San Diego resident, and I love it. I've been going since 2003. So. Oh, great. Well, thank you. San Diego is a great place, and we've been here. We were born here. We'd love to stay here forever, too. Well, thank you so much, David. Thank you very much. My All pleasure. right. Have a great one. So this booth over here is apparently Eminence on Original, The Tick. I don't know if it's supposed to be Marvel, DC, or what universe this is supposed to be. But here's the setup over here. Pretty interesting. So this is the uh, Blade Runner booth. As you can see, they're pretty much all set up. They've been setting up since last Friday, at least. I think it was like Friday or something I saw them setting up this booth. But yeah, they're, uh, they're almost done, which is gonna be cool. So we're gonna see when we can do the press tour. So this year at the Children's Museum, they have uh, sci-fi, which is gonna be going in. Um, so that'll be pretty cool. I um, got on their mailing list for that, so. Uh, Hopefully I'll be able to get in and uh, film here, but we'll see. We are here at the Sci-Fi headquarters, here at the Standing of Children's Museum. So they're currently setting up right now. I just talked to my contact at um, set the setup company, and um, so they're going to put me in touch with Sci-Fi, get me in on the, uh, hopefully on the press preview on Wednesday, which I'm assuming is when it's going to be, because that it seems like Wednesday is the day that all the uh, different outlets are doing their their uh, press preview so that's that's the game plan is Wednesday to come down here and do all that fun stuff but as I said we're down here at well in downtown at the Children's Museum and this is sci-fi headquarters so a little background on the event so they're gonna have like these nightly parties which you can get a ticket to if you're a Comic Con attendee and then Saturday is a private event so that's when they think all the celebrities are going to be there. Well, that's when I'm going to assume. I guess they got, um, and let me pull up my phone here. I can tell you exactly who is going to be at the event. Because I did take a picture of it. It was... Zachary Levi, apparently, is going to be hosting it over here. And then Adam Savage is doing his thing. And where else would Adam Savage go after his panel than over here? to sci-fi headquarters, the former Mythbuster. So that's what I'm guessing is. It's gonna be like the celebrity after party here on Saturday, so invite only. But um, yeah, it should be uh, should be pretty fun if you can get in. They did a thing at Flux a couple years ago with Dead Mouse, so who knows, maybe there's a Joel sighting. I actually saw him one year at, uh, at Comic-Con. It was funny because he took, he took a, like he was on Twitter 
and like saying, oh yeah, I'm at Comic Con or something, and I look, I'm just going through my Twitter feed, and it's like right when that pops up, it's like, wait, I'm at the same booth right now, so yeah, I got a picture with Joel, and that was pretty cool, but uh, yeah, so potentially Dead Mouse Sighting, hashtag ghost and stuff, his favorite song, not really, but uh, yeah, we'll see what's up. Anyways, guys, uh, moving on to the next booth. All right, as you guys can see here, this is the entrance for Hall H. You can see continue for Hall H line. And if you zoom in over there, there's Hall H, which they got all the tents up for. And then uh, to the Hilton Bayfront over there, which they have panels and uh, the FX booth. And if we turn around and look this way, you can see they're outfitting Petco Park right now. So Once Upon a Time's out there. And then they have what looks to be some ABC show that they're putting up there on the walls. So uh, checking out more stuff down here for Comic-Con. All right, so you guys are the first in line this year for uh, Hall H. Uh, what's your guys' names? Eddie. Eddie and Ian. So what are you guys most enthusiastic about seeing here in uh, the uh, Hall H? Well, this, oh, no, this, this is for a preview just, night. Oh, this yeah. is for a preview night. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is the preview night line. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, wow, I didn't know they pre lined up at Hall H this year. So. Hall H is back there. Oh, that's the Hall H line back there, and now this is the preview night line. Okay, that makes a lot more sense the now. Everything else line. Oh, the everything else line. So they've they've re they've redone it this year essentially. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then you said you're from uh, Sacramento. Sacramento. And uh, San Diego. San Diego. Yep. San Diego. Props. So. Uh, but is there anything you guys want to see this year at uh, Comic-Con? Let's see. One of the things I'm a little bit excited about is to see the Game of Thrones panel, see what's going to be, you know, iring out for the rest of the season. Oh, yeah. That and here just to, you know, what, see what all the others, like all the big toy makers are all making and all exclusives are going on, so. Yeah. What about you, sir? No, I'm just here to hang, man. I'm here to, to see some panels, get some cool toys, and see some cosplayers. Definitely. Sounds like a good time. I mean, you guys are already set up. Got the sleeping bag and everything. So, all right, <laughs> all right guys. Well, hey, thank you so much for the interview. Thank you, man. All right. Man. Enjoy the con. You too. And again, here's the Hall H line all set up. And now we're going to head over to the Petco Park and get some video up there. And I'm surprised Overwatch hasn't set up yet, or at least they're not visible right now. This is the, looks to be the recoil booth. That's what it's called. Uh, so they're doing some like free, I'm guessing freemium games out here. I'm not sure. I'm gonna go see if I can uh, talk to someone. It's the interactive zone at Petco Park. And I can already tell you guys without a doubt what this sign is gonna say. That's gonna be Marvel's Inhumans. So they're just finally putting up the rest of the uh, posters around the ballpark right now and around the uh, essentially just around the area and the gas lamp here so pretty cool so i just wrapped up my conversation with the padres uh basically mtv and true tv they both have events going on here during the week so i would have to reach out to their pr departments directly to bring my camera in and film especially if i have a tripod or anything like that so um, the padres aren't issuing the credentials this year it's uh, since they have the space rented out it's True TV and, as I said, um, MTV. So we're gonna check that out. Um, there's uh, it's that one show that um, they always, it's like they try to get their friend to do stuff he doesn't wanna do. I guess they're gonna be here this year. I'm blanking on the name of that show. He just mentioned it like a couple seconds ago, but I blanked on the name. I'll, I'll put it in the channel in the description if I can, if I can remember it. But uh, yeah, so that's what's going on at Petco Park during Comic-Con this year. So it should be fun. Another venue to check out while you guys are down here. Anyways, San Diego. Moving to the next spot and uh, stay classy. So we got History Channel over here. Kong Skull Island booth. So all these booths here are opening up on Thursday, and they say in the morning, so if you're in the area, so if you're out here, you can check out some of the stuff in front of the Omni. You got uh, the Kong movie with uh, Samuel L. Jackson. You got this uh, Ninjago movie, 
And then you have something else over here, which I believe is History Channel. I'm blanking on the name right now, but that's something with the castle, so it's definitely a History Channel. Uh, so yeah, this is some of the cool stuff out in front of the Omni Hotel. And if you look behind me, we got the Convention Center. So, and then over there, I believe was Midnight Texas or whatever that one booth is that I showed you guys from earlier. So, a lot more stuff this year on the outside during Comic Con. So, if you even if you don't have a badge, you can stop by and uh, just check out the cool stuff. Some of the stuff that you actually have to have a badge to get in, but some of the stuff you don't. So, um, just come downtown, check it out, spend money downtown. So it looks like at the 6 and K Parkade, you got HBO headquarters over here. So that should be cool. So yeah, it's Game of Thrones. There's going to be a giant line with the new series coming out. So it'll be interesting to see what they're putting inside for this event. So as you guys can see, FX is now set up over here. So we'll walk the line. They actually got shade this time because, well, last time it was like a million degrees. So I think they learned. And we're going to go see really quick if Adult Swim is set up. And then I'm going to go home and edit this video. And have it up for Wednesday. So yeah, pretty cool. You got a bunch of stuff out here. So this is all at Fox. So walking down over here, you guys can see. The other side of the booth it's a lot closer to completion well they got technically a day to finish setting up which uh, is not I mean, not too long but I mean it looks like mostly all that's done uh, probably just doing electrical and all that stuff now but now we're gonna go check out the adult swim booth over here next to Rekt so you guys can see a TBS Rekt over there uh, we'll walk over to here just see if anything's up oh they have actually it looks like orville over here so if you want to check out a star trek parody then that's orville right here so orville should be really cool um, then sentinel services over here so that's marvel and then you got fox over here too so yeah fun times and it's definitely a lot more setup than it was a couple days ago uh, on Sunday when I was last down here. So today's Tuesday, day before Comic-Con. Got uh, security out here. <laughs> yeah? You guys get all the sneak peeks though. <laughs> so, uh, Ghosted is here too. So that's pretty cool. Uh, that's another series on Fox, I guess. Uh, there's TBS Wrecked, as I mentioned earlier. And Adult Swim's actually set up in time. It's a miracle. Oh, they have somewhat of a tent. Somewhat. They've kind of failed on the tent. It should have been like a full tent. But nope. Okay. They got the meatball. Obviously. Get the safe lighting and everything set up. The volunteer line. You're not doing volunteer, are you? Yeah. No, I'm here to get in, huh? Ah. Yeah, these are all all the volunteers, daily volunteers. So they, they they they're probably their first shifts tomorrow. So TBS Rect opens up on Thursday apparently. Trying to get a sneak peek, but don't know if they'll let me. So Adult Swim booth is pretty much set up. Opens on Thursday. Gonna come back here. It was actually kind of funny. I was. My cousin's working at the TBS rec booth, and then my other cousin's working at the Blizzard booth over by Petco Park. So, essentially, I got the hookups this this week, uh, which is kind of awesome. But uh, at least we're getting in to stuff. Anyways, uh, guys, I'm um, going to head back to the car so I don't get my car towed and go from there. All right, take it easy, guys. And uh, yeah, this is going to be up. So. Um, here. This is all the cool stuff happening at Comic-Con. Couldn't do inside this year uh, early, but um, got you guys a look at the outside. And uh, this will be up for preview night tomorrow.